Well, a warm welcome to this talk. Now, I've got some exclusive data to share with you tonight. It's from the famous Canadian virologist, Dr. David Speaker, and he's given us this data. Now, he's shown it at a conference before, but it's not yet published. Why is it not yet published? I've had a chance to look at this data. It is excellent, and the methodology to me seems beyond reproach, as far as I can tell. Um, But... It's been rejected by four leading scientific journals so far and the editors of those four journals didn't even bother to send it for peer review. Let's hope we're not dealing with an international programme of censorship. But let's get straight on to the data now because it's quite profound and it's related to the DNA contamination. Now here we see one of his graphs here. Now what we've got here, these are vials of vaccine that uh, that Dr. Speak has been sent. These ones he was sent from Ireland. These ones are Canadian and these ones are Australian vials. Now, this line here is the allowed amount of DNA contamination. Now, we can argue about this. In fact, we will be arguing about this, that this allowed amount of DNA contamination is set way too high, but it is still the legal maximum amount. So is the law being, or is this legal amount being respected? Well, clearly not. So if we take, for example, let's take these, for example, these here, these JN1. This is the very latest thing when the uh, manufacturers are supposed to have got their act together. And we find that in the very latest vials, the very latest product, we've got very high levels of spike protein. Uh, very high levels of original sequence in blue and very high levels of, in green here, SV40. Now, this SV40, um, this is actually a, um, it's a, the, the SV40 is a gene sequence that comes from the E. coli bacteria. It comes in the plasmid of the E. coli bacteria. These are the same bacteria that you find in your gut, in your colon, the present in, in stools and feces. So the the DNA from them, the the SV40 sequence in that is so important because that actually inhibits one of our own genes called uh, P53. Now, P53 is important in in humans because it's what you call a tumour or an oncosuppressor gene. It stops us from getting cancers. So if this uh, contaminated... um, As we see here, SV40 promoter, and we see in the Australian vials, look, there's a positively huge amount in this the, the Australian vial, the amount of contamination in this Australian sample here. So this SV40 will inhibit the activity of our P53 um, tumour suppressor genes. And if you're not suppressing tumours, tumours are more likely to occur. If you could somehow wave a magic wand and take all the P53 genes and p53 uh, proteins out of my body there'd be nothing to correct the mistakes in my dna and i'd probably get cancer fairly quickly which of course i don't want so that is quite a problem and just look at the scale of the contamination there the amount of spike protein uh, dna so this is this is the the dna to make the spike protein the dna is present in all of these at way high levels than we're allowed and yet these are still being injected into human beings is there something i'm not quite getting here that was the first graph that david showed us now just to share a bit more of the scientific data that david shared with us on the video call and i will be playing you the whole call later Um, the data he collected was from uh, pcr studies so he did the polymerase chain reaction on these vials and he used a cycle threshold of 12. Now, it seems that people were quite happy to accept diagnoses of COVID with cycle thresholds way over 30. So if they're happy to accept cycle thresholds of way over 30 for diagnosis, why aren't they accepting cycle thresholds of 12, which of course is is, is exponentially orders of magnitude less than a cycle threshold of 30, where it more or less doubles every time you increase it from 12 to 13 to 14 to 15. Absolutely incredible. Now, he also told us that the SV40 DNA, not only does it inhibit the P53 oncosuppressor gene, taking away the suppression of cancer in human cells, but it also enhances the integration of DNA fragments into the human genome. Now, I didn't know this. So he's he's telling us here that SV40, this DNA contamination, 
makes it more likely that the DNA gets put into the human DNA via a process of reverse transcriptase. And of course, if it is the case that this genetic information from the, uh, from the bacteria to make SV40, if that actually gets into the human genome, then the human genome can make SV40 protein, which will inhibit our P53 suppressor genes. To me, that's going to make cancers way more likely uh, and, and potentially so for decades into the future, which is why this is such a concern. Now, we also told us that the threshold levels, those red dotted lines that we saw, those threshold levels, are they were put there for uh, naked DNA, assuming that the DNA was naked. So if you imagine, if you imagine that this, the, the, this pen is the, um, this, this pen here is the DNA, then the, the thresholds were put in place for the DNA, which it's actually quite hard for this DNA to get into the cells. But now, in these modern preparations, the DNA is not naked. It's in a lipid nanoparticle, which is my hand. And this lipid nanoparticle finds it very easy to absorb into the cell membranes. So the DNA wrapped in a lipid nanoparticle will go into human cells a hundred times more readily. And this is the figure that we were given, a hundred times more likely to get in. So really, these figures that we've got for the maximum allowed amount of DNA contamination should be reduced by at least 100 because they're now, the DNA is now not, no longer naked, finding it difficult to get into the cell membrane, but the DNA is in a phospholipid um, nanoparticle or lipid nanoparticle anyway, which means it's easy to get into the phospholipid cell membrane, increasing transfection rates by a factor of 100. So I thought that was a quite interesting science that we were supplied with. And again, I'll show you the whole recording shortly.